Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Aussie Flipper. My name's Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. What that means is I will buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping it online for a profit. Well, here we are, Sunday afternoon, the time of the week where I take you through my sold items of the week. It's been pretty good this week. I'm excited to get these ones across to you. There's been a few categories, um, well, new categories that I haven't uh, sold in before and then a couple of ones that uh, I continue to sell well in. So. Um, I'll get those across too. But before I do, um, I'd love to know, question of the day, what was your most profitable sale item? I mean, I like to do this every single Sunday and tell you what I've sold, but it'd be awesome to hear what you're selling. Um, it'll give me a bit of an idea about what to look for out there and, and how much of things are actually worth. So comment below and also while you're there, give this video a like and a subscribe. Um, if you're new to reselling or if you're thinking about getting into it, this is going to be the perfect channel for you. Uh, I post a video every single Sunday around the items that sold for the week. Uh, and I also put an informational type video in there as well during the week. So if you're even half interested in reselling, you're going to want to tune into this channel. So like and a subscribe would be fantastic. All right, let's get straight into it. Um, I've got my laptop here and uh, I've got, well, I think it's about six items to go through uh, this week for you. Um, so, well, really, let's just kick things off, get straight into it. Um, the first item I've got for you is a Masterline Charger kneeboard. Yeah, it's a kneeboard. It um, suits the Gold Coast pretty well, everyone out on the water. And uh, as soon as I spied this one, I thought, yep, this one's probably unders uh, at the moment. Um, so look, I, I messaged this one um, pretty much immediately after it got posted on Facebook Marketplace. Um, it was posted for $90 and I thought that that was definitely undervalued even before I checked for the price. Um, upon searching it online, I realized that it was worth about $280. Um, so these ones, uh, really good quality. Masterline is a really good kneeboard brand. Um, you know, water sports, whether or not that's something that suits in, in the area that you're living in. Um, certainly for me it is, so I knew that it would be a, a pretty valuable product to get my hands on. Um, I didn't negotiate a price, I wanted to get in early and just grab this one. Um, sure enough, I was the first one in, it was only within the first couple of hours this being listed. Um, had to drive for about 20-25 minutes to go and pick this one up and the way I like to do things is agree on a price and if I've got the time, I generally go straight away to, to pick the item up. That way on Facebook Marketplace there's no chance of somebody bumping the price up and, and that person selling it to the other person that's offered a higher price. I like to agree on a price and then commit and just simply go and get it to avoid any issues. Um, so I've had this one for about two weeks. It's, it's stayed at home. It's, I listed it straight away. Uh, within a day or two of, of buying it off Marketplace, I listed it back onto Marketplace, figuring that somebody local would be the best person to buy this one. Um, and I ended up selling it. I listed it for, I think about $180 or $160 because that was a little less than half price on what it was brand new. Um, and it ended up selling for $140. Um, the guy bumped me down to 140. I said, yep, sure. Why not? That put $50 profit, uh, into my bank account, which was fantastic. And, uh, like I said, it was about two weeks from the, the sale of this one. So, um, I was pretty happy with that. Haven't done an e-board before, but saw it, thought it'd be good. Turned out to be the case. And within two weeks, I'd made $50 on it. So good uh, first item sold for the week. Um, number two, number two was a pair of Nike Women's Lunar Eclipse 4. Um, so these were some running shoes I found in an op shop um, just around the corner from my place. It's been a really good op shop, actually. If you can find the ones that actually produce you some good items, you just keep going back. I don't really like to search different op shops. I've got my single op shop that does really well for me and I I just really try to go back to that as much as I can. It's, it's paid off for me quite well. Um, these ones here, the Nike shoes, I um, found them in the op shop. They were $4. I put them on Marketplace as soon as I got home, which I highly recommend. As soon as you get your items, just list them. I know it's the biggest issue for everybody on, on, um, on this whole reselling business, but you've just got to list your items straight away. It's the best way to do it. Um, so this sold for $20. Now, I did a comp search. Yes, they are Nike shoes. They, yes, they were in really good condition. Um, the comp search on eBay for the Lunar Eclipse, they were going for around $20 to $30, which I was quite surprised by. Um, marketplace, no fees, no postage. I thought, look, let's just put it on for $20 and, and hopefully make a quick sale out of it. And sure enough, same day sale. Um, they sold for the $20. They were picked up within the space of a couple of hours. 
um, and I made $16 on the sale. Um, I think with these, I probably could have gone up a little more. Maybe I could have probably listed them at $35 and just seen what how it went. Um, and I probably would have sold them for $30 to $35. But look, a same day sale, I really enjoying the turnover of, of getting an item and selling it really, really quickly. Um, happy with a $16 profit from an op shop um, purchase. So item number two, Nike shoes, always a winner. Item number three, item number three, I have a pair of boxing gloves and pads combo set. Um, now I've been doing quite a lot of these actually recently. I've actually bought three and I've already sold two. This was the second one that, that sold and this was probably the best of the three that I bought because of the brand. Um, so Punch is a really, really good um, sports brand. Even over in the States, I think they've got the Punch brand. Um, if you do find boxing gloves or, or focus pads um, that are Punch branded, you'll generally get a few more dollars. Um, I was aware of that as soon as the listing went up. It was a Facebook marketplace listing. Um, she was selling two of them, um, literally a couple of streets away from me as well, if you can believe, um, for $10 each. So she had a $20 Facebook marketplace listing. I confirmed with her, I said, could I buy the two for 20? And she said, yeah, absolutely. So I, I could have walked around, but I drove around and I picked them up for $20. And within a few days, I put them back onto Facebook marketplace as individual listings. Um, one I listed at 45, which was these. And the other pair I listed at about, I think it was $30 that I listed the second pair because they were unbranded. Um, really good condition, but unbranded. I'm still to sell those. So you might catch that next week when I sell that pair. Um, but these punch gloves, they were always going to go quick. I listed them at 45, sold them at 45. Um, so I profited $35 again on my Facebook marketplace. So I was really happy with that. The sales cycle was only about five days that they were up um, on Facebook Marketplace. And I think I gave it about two days before I relisted it on Facebook Marketplace. Last thing I'd want is to bump into her at the coffee shop and she realizes that I'd resold them. So I always try to you know, be a bit careful about that, but yet to be picked up on it. No one's actually found me. So um, it's, it's worked out okay. I, I give it about 48 hours each time. But um, yep, five days, boxing gloves. Everybody's not in the gyms at the moment with the, uh, with the virus. They're out in the parks and the fields, you know, doing their training elsewhere. So, you know, boxing gloves and focus pads, find them, get them cheap, and you'll make, you know, 20 30 $40 profit. The item number four that I have for you is, uh, well, these are actually an interesting one because I haven't done a lot of retail arbitrage, but this one certainly was the case. I was I was in a big W recently and um, I, I was actually after a pair of shoes unrelated to a reselling opportunity, uh, but then spied a price tag on a pair of dress shoes that were only $7. They were $7 for a pair of really nice looking dress shoes. And I thought, you know, Normally $30, but marked down, I think, half price to 15 and then they had a 75% price tag down to $7. Um, so I immediately thought my, my reseller hat went on, and I, I immediately thought that I could get some money on these. I bought two pairs just to test the water and see how that'd go. The brand was, you know, the, the brand's all good. They're a pair of all good men's dress shoes bought from Big W, so they're not the best of quality, but these were brand new, obviously. Um, so look, I listed them on Facebook Marketplace. I was umming and ahhing as to whether or not to leave the $30 original tag on or to take the tag off and, and try and sell them for $30. That's ended up what I decided to do. I cut the tag off and I just took the photo without the tag and I said that they were brand new, unworn. And I think that was gonna, that, that just shows that if people aren't researching for that very brand, they could be a lot more expensive than $30, which means you're probably gonna get your sale for about 30 on Marketplace. So that was my reasoning. It ended up working. I sold them eventually. Um, well, I say eventually, but it was only about a week and a half from when I'd listed it. Um, and they sold for $25. So I profited $18 on these and I actually still have another pair that are on Facebook Marketplace as well. I've just left the listing up um, so people just simply don't think they've sold yet. I've got another pair to go. So I made $18, um, first sort of retail arbitrage type sale. Um, I'll keep an eye out whenever I'm in retail shopping centers on those really good discounted offerings and I think there's a bit of money to be made in them. So. Um, that was a really cool, I guess, um, item number four for this week. Item number five is a pair of women's size 10 slippers. Really good time of year, obviously, to be buying these and, and selling these. Um, I found them in the same op shop as I bought the women's Nike shoes that we saw and, and spoke about earlier. 
Um, so these slippers, they were in really good condition. They were only $4, which I was blown away by. They were actually proper uh, sheep's wool. So the condition and the quality of the shoe was fantastic. And I knew that these were gonna sell really, really well. Um, I actually listed them for $35. I thought that there was gonna be a bit more value in them to what they actually ended up selling for. Um, they stayed up there for about a week on Facebook Marketplace and I got a couple of nibbles, but there was a lot of like low ball offers that obviously is one of the worst things about Marketplace um, that I was obviously turning down really quickly. Um, but they ended up selling for $20 in a week and I bought them for four. It was exactly like the Nike shoes. You know, you buy them for four, you sell them for 20. Again, another $16. So, you know, I wasn't too disappointed about that. I knew that they would sell. I thought there'd be a few more dollars in them, but I'm happy to take the $16 in, in relatively quick time. So again, in winter for us over here in Australia, I, I thought they were gonna be a great quick sell and look, they ended up doing pretty well. The last one that I have for you is my best sale of the week. So hopefully you've already commented below on your best sale item of the week because my best sale of the, item of the week is this one. So I found this one last Sunday. It's been exactly a week. It was as soon as I finished the shooting of the last week's episode of What Sold, I jumped onto Facebook Marketplace and I found these. It was a set of Guy Leach weights bench. Um, so really, really good quality. They are flying out the door if you can get a pair of these at a, at a cheap price. Everybody is after them. And if you can find that person on Marketplace that doesn't know the true value, geez, you need to strike on the weights benches. I, I saw these for 50, I knew that was well unders. And I again, it was within, I think about 10 to 15 minutes of them listing their item that I was messaging them. I didn't bump them down in price, I kept it at $50 and I said, look, I will go and draw out the money and I'll come to your place right now. It is the only way you're gonna get these Facebook Marketplace items at a great price because somebody else will swoop in and grab it off you or pay a few more dollars if you don't do it. You have to go straight away and you have to see it, know it, grab it. That's just simply the process. Um, so I did that, I, I grabbed them, and then I left it again. I left it two more days uh, because they were local people, and um, I relisted it at $175. Um, they ended up selling, I had a guy come around within three days, the sales cycle was only three days on these. Had a number of inquiries. There was a lot of views, a lot of shares, and a lot of um, saves on Facebook Marketplace. So there was a lot of activity. And they ended up selling for the guy that came and viewed them within three days. He bumped me down to 160. I had them at 175. He said, would you take 160? I said, absolutely. Um, so I made $110 on the weights bench. Um, so this isn't uncommon. Weights benches, typically, this was a beginner's weight bench that could only hold 50 kilos. It was in good condition. It was missing a, 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 um, a bolt or a, um, a pole that basically made it an adjustable um, bench. Um, so it was missing bits and pieces, but it was in really good condition. Um, but still, even, even with the missing parts, I still made $160 and $110 profit on it. So it really helped my week. Um, I can't recommend it more. Fitness gear and, and weights, benches, dumbbells, anything you can think of in the fitness game right now, you need to be on the lookout for it and doing a notify me on, uh, on Facebook Marketplace and then striking the minute they post it. Um, all right, so that brings my total weekly profit. Um, so my total weekly profit for this week was $245. So the six items that I'm showing you were my only six items that I sold this week. I, a bit of context for me is I'm, I'm doing this part-time. Uh, I worked a full-time work week this week. Um, it ended up being about 38 hours of work. I actually only got out to the op shops and Facebook Marketplace only twice. So I got to an op shop once and I did a round of purchasing on Facebook Marketplace for a second day. And that's really all I've done from a reselling point of view. So while a few items I bought and sold this week, as, as you've seen there, there were also a few items that I still had left over um, from a few weeks prior that like the, um, the knee board that we're able to sell. Um, so that always helps when you've got that trickle effect of past purchases. Um, but yeah, to, look, $245, not a lot of time put into it. Um, you know, you do that over the course of the year and you're, you're making pretty good money. So I'm really happy with, with around the 250 for this week. Hopefully next week I could put a bit more focus into it and, and grab a few more items and list a few more items and hopefully make a few more dollars. So 
Um, yeah, love to know what you guys are doing and what your sales are looking like this week. Please comment below. Don't forget to give this one a like and a subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'm hoping that it's providing value. So please let me know in the comments below. But uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks very much for watching.